Hello, this is Dread from Apprentice's Corner, and today's video topic is going to be a quick setup and installation guide for Project Diablo 2, so you guys can get on the servers and get playing here. Uh, we're also going to do loot filters as well in the end, so let's get into it, shall we? All right, if you do not already have Diablo 2, you are going to have to buy it. Yes, because cracked keys do not work for the mod. You have to buy D2 and Lords of Destruction as well and work on a fresh install. So if you already have a fresh install or already have the key, you can skip this step, but I'm just going to install it here real quick. If you've bought Diablo 2 from the website, what you're going to want to do is go to games and then go to downloads. And then you're going to look for Diablo 2 down here, Diablo 2 and download for Windows. And then of course do the same for Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction. And I'll see you guys. All right, I have downloaded the Diablo 2 launcher here. You're uh, most for most Windows machines, or it's going to ask you, you know, it's protected. It's not going to let you do it, but you're going to click more info and run anyways, and you're going to install Diablo 2 first. Make sure to install Diablo 2 first. Now, what you want to do is you want to get out of that, obviously, that's annoying. Uh, you want to make sure that you are installing this into a folder that you can easily have access to. So what I am going to do and what I implore you to do, uh, find a good place, uh, make a new folder here. I'm going to, I'm going to name it D2 for brevity's sake and make sure it's going inside D2, like your folder, because you're going to want to be going into the folder a lot later on. Okay. And then of course, install D2 and then install the Lords of Destruction as well. I'll see you there. All right. So we have Diablo, uh, the installer downloaded. Obviously there's a lot of steps to this. So now we can actually install our Diablo 2. So just agree. Got to scroll all the way down because legal jargon. There you go. All right. And then here is when you're going to go and find your CD key that was emailed to you by Blizzard. So make sure to keep that handy. Uh, so obviously you can make whatever name you want. Like I can be like Chuckle, Chuckle Nuts if I wanted to. Doesn't really matter. So I'm going to go find my CD key and put it in here. And then I'll see you guys after that. All right, I've inputted my CD key. Now we're going to choose where to put everything and we're going to make sure to put it into our Diablo 2 folder, make everything nice and concise and in the same place. And then uh, the uninstall link will be fine. We're going to install here. And then bam, we have Diablo 2. So that's the first step, obviously. Then you got to do the same thing with Lords of Destruction. So I'll see you guys when you're finished with that. All right, now that that's all ready and done with, your folder should literally look like this. Should be an absolute fresh install of Diablo 2. So one thing you are going to do real quick is you're going to go into properties and you're going to go to compatibility and make sure it's running as compatibility of Windows Service Pack 3 or 2, either one. I can't remember which one exactly. You'll have to mess around with that. And that will make sure that it will run. Now we are going to go to the Project D2 uh, uh, the website, which I'll provide a link in the description for you as well. All right, this is the website here. We're going to do this step by step because a lot of people were having issues with creating accounts. So for Project Diablo 2, you're probably going to want to make a new account. So we're going to register as a new user. So you're going to fill out these, this info, it's pretty, uh, strict. So I'll be very specific on these kind of things. So it's going to, uh, I'm just going to fill in stuff and not actually use it. So we're going to be like apprentice corner at yada, 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 email.com, right? Like your email.com and then password. So this is very, very, oh, <laughs> there. <laughs> There you go. And then uh, your password, it says eight digits, uh, requires a digits, requires lowercase and uppercase, and requires a non-alpha numeric, meaning that, for instance, it needs an uppercase character, a lowercase character, 
It needs a alphanumeric character, meaning like a hashtag. That's what I usually use. And then it needs to be of min of eight characters, meaning that it, it's really annoying. So I would suggest making like a notepad or something and putting down your password and confirm your password. Preferred game mode doesn't really matter with this one. Select your region and then your PD2 account name. That's a little bit different because you can only have so many uh, characters, I believe. So you want to use something very short. Something very short, like for instance, I'm just gonna put in chuckle nuts, right? And then for the password, it's eight to 12 characters, meaning it has to be over eight characters and under 12 and requires, uh, all it requires is a alphanumeric character. That kind of fucked me around. So alphanumeric being like, you know, dollar sign, hashtag, stuff like that, right? Obviously. And then once you register, you'll have a new account and this will be your in-game account. This will be what you log in when you log into the D2 servers. This is just for the website itself. All right. So now that we have the installer down here, uh, we downloaded it from the website. You're going to want to next, and then you're going to want to make sure that you have the right directory. Now what I'm going to do, I'm, this is what I implore you to do. Take this directory here. You're going to click here if you're on Windows, copy paste, right? Copy. And then you're going to copy paste it here so that it's installed exactly where you want it to be installed inside of your Diablo 2 installation. Okay. Next, install. And it's going to install. I'll see you guys when it's done. All right. Now that we're done installing everything and it works, uh, what we want to do is we want to go into the settings. So this is where everyone kind of like has issues. We're going to go into Diablo two into your installation, go to Diablo two, and then you're going to have a folder right here called project D two. You're going to go into that folder and you're going to make sure that you have a installation, a working installation of notepad plus plus. If you don't know to do that, I would suggest you go grab that real quick. If you don't have it, uh, Notepad works just fine, but Notepad++ works a lot better. So we're going to find the DDraw folder, the, the infamous DDraw folder. So Windows had made this kind of weird update where it no longer says INI afterwards. So this is your INI DDraw folder. It just says DDraw with configuration settings. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click it. And we're going to edit with Notepad++ if you've installed Notepad++ correctly. And we're going to bring it up. Now, obviously, this is all of your options here. So we are going to stretch the custom resolution to 1920 by 1080 for me or whatever your monitor's resolution is, right? Full screen is true. Uh, yeah, full screen is false. We're going to do full screen false because we don't want it to be uh, full screen. We want it to be windowed full screen. And we, of course, run in windowed mode rather than going full screen. That's true. Uh, maintain aspect ratio false, boxing false. Uh, if you have a really strong computer, you can bump up the max FPS to 145 so that you have very smooth gameplay. Uh, false for everything else here. And you want to copy paste this line here, the shaders line. And you're going to go down here and copy paste right here. Oh, not right here. Right here. These are just the settings I'm going to be using. You could probably, if you already know about shaders, you probably already know what you're doing. <laughs> and then make sure it's OpenGL, all right? And save that. And then what you're gonna make sure to do here is you're going to save. You need to make sure to save because this is very finicky and it will not save sometimes. Then we're going to go out and what we're going to do is we're just going to confirm that our settings were there. Our settings are there. So now we should be able to run D2 here. All right, here we are in D2 and it is working properly here. If we look at our skills here, uh, everything is set up. Lesser Hydra Hydra. Yep, we are in Project D2. Now, if you do not care about your loot filter, this is where you end. But now we're going to talk about loot filters. So let's get into that, shall we? All right. So now we're going to talk about loot filters here. 
If you do not care about your loot filter at all, if you just want a good loot filter, I would heavily suggest Wolfio's loot filter here, which we're going to use as an example on how to set up your loot filter as he has some really good ones. All of the installation documentation is here, but we're gonna go through it real quick just so that you guys can uh, see the process. So we're gonna go with the compact version because we want to copy, paste, and go. So we're going to open this up into a new tab. And you see all this information, what you're gonna do is you're gonna select all of it here and make sure it is on your clipboard. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to go to your D2 installation, Diablo 2, and then we're going to go into Project D2 and then there should be a folder as of the name, where is default filter. We're gonna open with notepad plus plus. Don't filter anything. Obviously we're gonna change this. Change it, there you go. We're going to change it into our filter. And then we're going to make sure that it's saved by using uh, you know, notepad plus plus, exit. And then the filter has been updated. Now we do have to do something in game to actually filter the loot filter. All right, so we're gonna go in game. All right, we are good to go in game here. So what are we going to do? We're going to go over to our settings folder in game, control click it, and your loot filter settings will show up. So we're going to make sure that all of these items are checked. Item close notifications, item detailed notifications, verbose notifications. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click control numpad zero to reload our filters. That's very important. Control numpad zero to reload the filter so that it's proper. We're just going to control right click settings and then we're good to go. And then that should be the loop filter. And to test, we are going to just drop a scroll of ID onto the ground. And if it looks like this, that means that the loop filter is working properly. All right, with that being said, I believe that's pretty much it. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day wherever you're at and have fun in Diablo 2. Bye.